Hey, good morning, everyone. Welcome to day 18. Today's prayer is, Lord, give the increase. You know, I don't know if you've experienced this, if you're a, a volunteer, a worker, a leader, uh, a pastor, or you're just trying to get through to your children and plant and invest in their lives for, for the Lord. And sometimes you may have those down moments where you feel like the work that you're putting in is not coming out the way it should come out, or you're not seeing the fruit, the results. Uh, you're not seeing, uh, you know, things happen in the in the timeline you would expect it to grow. And uh, maybe an encouragement today for you to continue to sow, continue to water, continue to encourage, continue to pray, continue to do what it is that God has called you to do. Because in due time, you will reap if you do not grow weary. And uh, the expression, today's prayer is, is found in 1 Corinthians 3. Uh, where the Apostle Paul will say that it's God who gives the increase. It's God, in other words, that's in charge of the growth uh, of our labor. And uh, if you want to read it, it's in 1 Corinthians 3, at verse 5. He's talking about, you know, like you, you, the, the Corinthian church put a lot of emphasis on the messenger. They started even having these divisions. Uh, I'm from Paul, and another says I'm from Cephas or Peter. I'm, I'm from Apollos, you know. And they started to have divisions of camp of who they're from. And really, he wanted to bring their attention back to Christ. And But in this context, he's saying God is really in charge of the growth. We're, we're going to water, we're going to plant, but it's really God that gives the increase. Look what he says. He says, uh, who then is Paul and who is Apollos, but ministers through whom you have believed as the Lord gave to each one. Um, God has given you a skill. God giving given you a role and a purpose. In the body of Christ. He says, I planted, Apollos watered, but God gave the increase. So then neither he who plants is anything, nor he who waters, but God who gives the increase. Today's prayer is, Lord, give the increase, so that, Lord, we would not work in vain. There's another verse in the Bible that says, you know, if the Lord doesn't build the house, then the workers are working in vain. And we know that if we're working with the Lord, working for the Lord, that we're not working in vain and he will give the increase in his timing. So let's pray for that. Lord, we pray, God, that uh, all the seeds that we've uh, planted in our children, all the seeds that we planted with our co-workers, all the seeds that we planted in the members of our church, uh, all the seeds that we planted, or, 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 or all the water that we watered, all the encouragement, all the saturation through prayer, Lord. We thank you that, God, these things are not forgotten by you, but they're also uh, not in vain. Lord, we pray that this 2022 would be an extremely fruitful year for the church, for the members of the church. We ask that God, that our work would not be in vain, but that Lord, you would help us to see fruit and not just fruit, but fruit that lasts, fruit that grow, glorifies not man, but glorifies God. We thank you, Lord, that as we serve you faithfully, whether that's in the front lines and stage, in the public, or in behind the scenes, Lord, that it's not forgotten. And we do not want to get uh, grow weary. We want to be faithful right to the end in sowing and watering and using our God-given gifts as you've distributed and as you've enabled us. We just ask, Lord, that Lord, in due time we will see the fruit that you would give the increase, Lord. Thank you that you're working with the church. Thank you that there's a great measure of grace upon the church. Thank you that we're working with the strength of God and we're working with the ability of God. And thank you, Lord, for a great harvest this year. Great, 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 great number of people turning to faith in Christ. Continue to add to the church daily, weekly, monthly, yearly, those who are saved. And may the number of disciples multiply in Jesus' name. And everyone say, Amen. Be encouraged. Your work is not in vain. Continue to serve Him faithfully. And in due time, God will give the increase. God bless you. Have a blessed day, guys. We'll see you tomorrow.